Okay, so uh, I wove in the ends of all the color switch yarns and now I've pinned the forelock to the head so that it forms a, a level line across above the eyes. And, and you'll see the, the, uh, these color stripes are going to be on the left side of the, do of the horse. So if you're holding it like that, it's your left. If you're holding it like this, it's reversed. Okay. So I'm going to just take this tail and tack that on so that on the top of the head. And then the next thing we're going to do after we sew the forelock is make the horn. Uh, out of purple yarn. Now, if you saw my previous videos, uh, after when I was ma making the wings, I ran out of, I just finished the wings and I just ran out of the purple yarn from the kit. And I apologize for that mistake. I should have uh, specified more yarn when I, when I did my measuring estimates for the yarn needed for the kit so I, I feel really badly about that that there's not enough yarn to make everything because um, like, ideally you'd end up with a little more yarn than you actually needed right Just... so um, what I did is I grabbed some purple yarn from the my little mermaid kit little Disney princess. So she's got the purple yarn for her little bikini top. Um, and if you can't find a yarn to match in like the craft stores near you, um, you can write to the uh, editors of Thunder Bay Press an email or you can get a hold of them on Instagram and ask them if they could maybe send you some uh, extra purple yarn. Okay. Okay, do not quite leave enough for that tail. I'm going to have to hide that later. Okay, so I'm going to take these pins out and I'll show you how to make the horn now. So there's, this is the purple yarn that I stole from my Little Mermaid kit. Um, and now in the book, there there is a typographical error right here. It says, for round one, it should say chain two to begin. And then, or it should say with light purple chain two, and then single crochet two in the second chain from the hook. Or single crochet in the magic loop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a magic loop. And I'm going to do four single crochet. One, two, three, four. And if you're new to Amigurumi and you haven't used magic loop before, I highly recommend it because um, it's like a little lasso that you can use you pull that tail and and then you can just start doing your circle. So this makes kind of a little C shape and you're going to go one, two, three, four, find that first stitch and go under both loops and we're going to make um, five. We're going to do three single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then you're going to single crochet two in the next stitch. So an increase there. There's one and then there's two. Now at this point it kind of tightens up into a funny little ball. So we're going to want to turn it right side out. So I take my hook out make the working look bigger. And these last row stitches I want to stretch those with my fingernails. And stretch that hole. And then I'm going to with my, with my thumbs I'm going to push pop that first round out. So it's kind of like a belly button. When you, you're turning an outie belly button or any any belly button in, 
to an Audi. And then there's the first round, there's the second round. You're gonna kind of roll it to kind of set the stitches. Okay, and I'm gonna tighten that tail on my magic loop to, okay, there we go. All right, so we're ready to do round three, which is just a single crochet in each stitch around for a total of five again. So let's tighten up that. Tighten up that working loop. All right, and then make sure you find that first stitch there. One, turn it, and then two. It's a little tight. You have to just give it a little quarter turn every time. Three. Turn and then four and five. Okay. Now for round four, we're gonna single crochet in the next four and then single crochet two in the next and in the slip stitch. So and with one work is that working this small, I don't really use a uh, stitch marker because it just it kind of gets in the way. I just count. Oop, I am just running right out of yarn again. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and let's see if I can do this. Ugh, I'm not. Okay, six. Okay, there's a horn. And that's gonna go right here. I'm gonna put it right in that that separate separated place. Okay, and you put that on and then sew it in place. Okay, let's see. Let's get that to focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this horn on with the needle on the tail. Let's see if we can get that a little closer. Okay. Okay, so that's how it looks with that. Let's see. I'll just Okay, so let's start the next part, which is the main. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna grab our C hook and our navy blue yarn. So here's the yarn. Um, and it says work all the stitches in back loops only. I'll show you that. It's gonna be important. Okay, so we're gonna chain 22. So Make your slip knot and we're going to chain 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, there it is. Now we're going to uh, single crochet to end up with 21. So we go in the second chain from the hook. So there's the working loop. There's the first chain. Here's the second chain. Go in there. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. This uh, doesn't want to slide through my hands very easily. It's kind of a bit of a rough texture. And it kind of wants to curl up as you go and you can just kind of flatten it out. Oops, let's see, I hate it when the yarn splits. Okay. All right, let's count and make sure we got the right amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I think I made one extra, so I'll take that last one out. There we go. Because we have 121. Okay. Uh, then we're going to chain one, turn, and then do three more rows of the same thing. But remember, we're going to do back loops only. So what's that, what that's going to look like, if you turn that row towards you, you can see those Vs. And you're going to... So you'll see, here's, here's, my, here's my working loop. That's the chain. I'll show you. There's the working loop. Here's the chain that we did. Now we want to go in the back loop of this guy right here. That's the one we're going to go into. Okay. And so back loop and single crochet across. And if I figure out how to use my video editing software to speed up this part, I will do that. Otherwise, you might want to just go into your video player. If you're on YouTube, it should have a little option where you can speed it up to like twice the speed of normal. So that you can zoom ahead to the more interesting parts. This is kind of slower going than usual because I have to find that back loop and I'm working in this extra dark yarn that so makes it a little more tricky. And this is also kind of a strange texture of yarns that I'm not quite used to working with. And I also be careful not to mess up while I'm on camera because that would be embarrassing. Okay. Take it to the end. We chain one. We flip the work. And then we're going to go back loops again.
tell you what, I'm just going to pause this and then get to the beginning of row five. Okay, so I've done uh, rows one through four, and then row five was uh, simply single crocheting across again, and now I'm going to chain 26. Um, so, in fact, you can see here's row one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to chain 26. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26. Okay, now I'm going to row 6. I'm going to single crochet in each one. So, did I skip that? So, I, again, I don't go. Here's the working loop. Here's the first chain from the hook, and there's the second chain from the hook. So here's where I want to go in that loop right there. Okay, so, and I just single crochet in all of those chains. And uh, you'll notice I'm, if you see the V, I'm always catching that, the, uh, loop that's on the top edge of the V. Okay, so we're back in that, uh, back up here to the top. So this is going to form kind of like uh, big locks, like thick stripes of hair that's going to go down the back of the head, like so. Or actually, start on this side probably. Okay, so where are we now? We are, we just uh, worked... Okay, now we want to chain one and turn, and for rows seven through nine, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet across. 26, chain one and turn, and then row 10, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet across, and then chain 30 and turn. Okay, so I'm going to work until the um, end of round, of row 10. And I'll come back. Okay, so I've gone up to row 10. So you can see I've got two pieces here that are connected at the top and free at the bottom. So there's five rows here and then another five here taking us to row 10. And the last part of row 10 is to chain 30 and then turn. But before I do that, I do want to point out there is a, a misprint in here or a mistake. So on row five it tells you to chain 26 and then turn and then row 26 it tells you to single crochet and the next and then go in the next 25 but um you can't because you're skipping one of these one of those chains um you shouldn't have 26 at the end you should have 25 so it should say single so crochet in the next 24 and with 25 at the end and so on. It should, but then for row seven through nine, you should have 26 at the end of each round row. Same with 10, you'd have 25 at the end instead of 26. And then if you come to row around 11, uh, uh, should also, it should say single crochet in the second chain from the hook then single crochet in the next 28 
for a total of 29 stitches. Okay, so let's do the thing where we chain 30 and then we work back 29 stitches. And then we're going to do change to our dark pink. So, so here's we're going to chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And then we're going to skip that first stitch. So there's the working loop. We'll skip that first stitch. And then we're going to go into that back loop of the second stitch from the hook. And that's that's our first one. And then we should have a total of 29. There's two, three, and so forth, just working in that chain. So I will, I'll let you in on the little secret. I don't know if it's secret, but kind of behind the scenes stuff on the creation of the book. Um, like when I've done books in the past, um, we've, after I've submitted my manuscript, then the crochet instructions go to a tester and it usually goes through two rounds of testing to check for errors. Um, however, with this pony book, um, they were, the publishers were in a huge rush to get it to press. Um, they had a big deadline. I think they wanted to get it out before the Christmas sales in October. So, or November, um, I don't know that they ever submitted it to testers because I never received any kind of corrections or questions. So, I'm a little frustrated that they, that there are some errors in there. And I'm just discovering for the first time because this is the first time I've gone through and tested it myself as a book rather than just my manuscript. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Uh, let's see. So that would be um, the end of round row 11. And now we're going to switch to pink. Dark pink. Okay, so that's this lovely pink right here. We're just, and I'm not going to cut this yarn because we're going to come back to it. So, but I'm going to bring up, I'm going to leave about a four inch tail here so I can weave it in later, pull up a, a loop for that chain, and then flip it around. And I'm going to single crochet across. Remember, we're doing it just in the back loops. Okay, let me pull this tight. 